Welcome back here to EREF TV. We are live. Imagine that here at Nerve Four. Just waiting for everyone to ready up. This is the second round as Nightfall really fails with his record command of the playoff bracket. Mob versus Digital Excellence. We Digital Excellence did beat VVV 13 to 11 on both Strike and Vacant to advance to the second round. And instead of playing the final first round match, we're gonna let DX play Mob as DX was already set up to get us a, a spot in the finals. So the winner of this, of, of the winner, pardon me, of this match will guarantee themselves a place in the finals. So DX has won the knife round. So they will, they have chosen their side. The maps for this best of three will be city streets. What did I say? Strike mm -hmm. and vacant and vacant in that or, and vacant if necessary in that order. So this is a best of three, and hopefully, uh, hopefully this goes by pretty quickly. Yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of uh, more rounds to do. As uh, after uh, this, we're gonna be doing uh, three more matches. Yeah, three more best of three matches. That is uh, awesome. All right, so the way this is gonna work out, um, we're waiting for the last team member of DX to uh, get in here. The way this is gonna work out is this is now 4 a.m. in the morning on the <laughs> East Coast. <laughs> it is it, it, it is 1 a.m. on the West Coast. 3 a.m. Central Time. And uh, you gonna go Europe now? Yeah. Europe? All right. You Five want me to go hours. Europe? It is uh, 9 a.m. for those of uh, for those of you tuning in in England and other parts of Europe. Six for those I believe in uh, Germany. Bel in, in Germany and in the Belgium area. <laughs> so it's roughly 10 a.m. for, oh, do, for do you. Do we know folks. Asian time? Asian time. Well, China is 12. I got China at 12. Australia is also, I believe, in the 12 or 11 off of, off of East Coast time. <laughs> and uh, India, I believe, is roughly around uh, 10 or 9. I, I'm not 100% sure. You know what? It's big enough to go in both. So we'll, exactly. we'll just say it's both. There you go. Exactly. So <laughs> if you are with us, we thank you. It has been a long day of... Oh, can't even form the right words. Just a long day is is really the only thing that comes to mind. Yeah, I got here uh, around 9 a.m., which was awesome, and uh, slept for a good two and a half hours. So this is uh, great timing what we have going on here. As Madman is not working, so I'm gonna yell at everyone to ready up. Boom, boom. Computer issues again. <coughs> Are we going to have to go back there to fix it? <laughs> I'm on the other team. All right, am I going over there? I think that is a yes. All right, I'll be back and uh, hopefully get this shit rolling. Is that me going over there? All right, it looks like they're good to go. No, they're good to go. What? Yep. Okay. As we are waiting on two more players to ready up. Three more, pardon me. All right, we are finally live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the sentiment I think everyone here is pretty much feeling right now. <laughs> As, uh, yeah. So we'll fall in behind a legend, Panther. Mob Panther with the 74U. He has the will and the ability to carry his team with an awful set grenade. 
that is just very awful as Super J gets the first grenade into Jukebox, opening things up for digital excellence. Mob working their way over towards the B-Bomb site. Bond they're gonna take down Chimpe. Things looking good for Digital Excellence right now as Kaju gets taken down by Narc. Digital Excellence doing all sorts of good work right now. Shift is gonna be able to take down Uzi. Super J missing a couple of scope shots over by the wood wooden stairs as he rotates over now. And finally able to take down Shift. Mob Panther, the last man standing, and he gets taken down to Madman. Digital Excellence all over the place right now. Uh, following their impressive victory over VVV earlier. Oh my god. Well, um, yeah, Mob uh, played who and destroyed who? Everyone. Uh, and yeah. destroyed everyone in their group, pretty much. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty uh, nice, uh, simple way of putting it. And um, here we go. As we're going to have Bond rushing straight up and taking down Chimp. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and Chimp still gets a nade off and gets uh, made ma uh, Madman as he does not go down in vain. There is still uh, three versus four, I'm sorry, two versus four as it is in favor of DX. <laughs> now there's just Jufox left. Um, Flux is the last one alive, he's trying to get a nice nade. Didn't be able, uh, enough to take down Bond and he has a lot of work to cover to try and kill all of the guys in A side and anyone flanking, which is definitely the case. All right, we have Jufox going around and he tries to, uh, no. Uh, he gets flashed in such a degree that he's going to get inched upon very easily as we have two guys coming up from behind or two coming up from the front and one guy pinching him in and uh, he is now in a clutch spot that's not very clutchable in this situation. And uh, Uzi just takes him down. Clutchable. Okay, clutchable. it is clutchable. He says it's clutchable. It is, it is very clutchable. It's very clutchable. Indeed it is. It's very. All right, we'll fall in behind Panther now with the 74U. Yeah. The 74U in hand, trying to make something happen right now as he nearly gets picked off by the nade. Another one there, Nark quickly able to take him down. And Chimpe with the 47 across the middle of the map. Bond also working it out. Narc, 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 working, the, working it. Super J taking down Ju Fox. Bond into Kaju's shift, just able to get a kill to keep himself on the board. Quickly though, able to take down Bond. Spots another one in the mid with the, four, with, pardon, with the 47 in hand and Bomb as well. Spots another one over there by the stairs, gonna try and get him down as well. Working, jumps out and is able to take him down. Can you say Mr. Clutch, shift. Three men killed in this round alone. One on two situation, 55 seconds left on the clock. Certainly a clutchable situation as he slowly but surely works his way down Somewhere. the middle <laughs> of the market. Unbelievable. This, we, we, have, we have seen way too many Call of Duty matches within an uninterrupted time frame, folks as it looks like Shift is gonna work his way slowly up, see if he can spot Ooh. this person up top on the streets here, and he does see him, but ah! fails big time Bam. with the original kill. Is it gonna get there? And now he's gonna try and get this bomb down. Can he get the bomb down before Narc gets there? Yes, he can. So the bomb Explosive will go down. Planted. Shift going for the 1v5 clutch, folks. This is it, 1v5 clutch. If he can pull this off, this would be sensational, Narc with the 47 in hand coming out. I sees him on the steps and doesn't oh. take him down as Shift with the 1v5 ace clutch, folks. That is, is the second map in a row we can say ace clutch. All right, well, who is this Snark kid? Because he was Super K before, he was uh, Nightfall just before, and it's definitely not Narc, Narc So, all right. Let's just uh, go back to this match as we have uh, Duflux going with the uh, nade. Does he get? Oh, yes, he does. Takes down uh, AKA Narc in this particular round. Uh, Uzi takes him right back as he was still uh, trying to look up in this position. All right, it is now a uh, four on four situation with Uzi. In perfect positioning of taking down uh, one or two guys if they just line up. Goes for the guy trying to plant the bomb. Probably stops him, which is a very good idea. As Koju goes out. 
and uh, takes down Uzi as well as Panther taking down Super J. It is now a three on two. And uh, very intense as the bomb is down. And uh, Kaju has a great hold on where he needs to take. And no, but Madman gets him in the face. So it is now uh, Madman versus Panther and Shifty. Uh, Shifty inside of the fence area. And Panther right down straight. Picks him right across the map and is now back to 2-2. Two -two. So uh, going from that 0-2 uh, to two lead, they now have closed the gap. It's what an ace clutch can do. An ace clutch can change the way the game is played. As there we go, right. Uh, you press the right button this time. Yep, right, right button's pressed now. Got it. So we'll fall in behind Shimp. I have 74 U in hand. Gonna wait these nades out. We think. Yes, he does. Gonna work his. Well, apparently he's not very good at waiting those nades out. As Super J and Narc get two quick kills there. As uh, Digital, uh, as Mob finds himself down deep. As Digital Excellence coming in with another kill from Narc. Kaju also going down to Narc. Narc is on a killing spree right now is the last member of Jufox with the triple oh. grenade unbelievable and just cannot get it done narc just too much he really wished that nade would have taken down narc that was that was a grenade folks yeah but it just wasn't enough to finish the whole team but it definitely helped in uh, morale i'm sure all right as we are right now following bond as he likes to usually push inside of a but he is uh taking a little hesitation goes for the uh thing goes through the middle but no jufox takes him out and uh chimpe takes down narc with the scope all right, well, we have Uzi taking down Chimpe right back as Chimpe now has a scope. It's very interesting as uh, Koju goes and gets Uzi. So th this uh, B area is just going back and forth as we now only have uh, Madman going down by Jufox as uh, we have K uh, Keju going around the corner. Is he going to admit defeat or is he going to take him out from behind? That is the question as they are very close on one another. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, my God. And there he goes. Takes him down. All right, three on ugh, three all is your score right now. As I just cannot continue to hit the right shift tab here, we spend so much time getting the configuration files right. And when I say so much time, I do mean three minutes, folks. Shift doing most of the work for his team along with Jukebox. Chimpe Matt Gomez needs to pick things up a little bit if he wants his team to win this land tournament and take home all the moolah as he looks across trying to find someone across the market, spots the one, unable to make this shot as Jufox is able to take down Bond to give his team the early advantage shift. Also killing his own teammate with his grenade. That is not a professional grenade, folks. That is not how it is done. Shift working that A bomb site. Spot someone in the middle, able to take him out. That would be Narc working his way up towards the top of the A house. Knows there's someone up there trying to not get killed. Is able to take down Madman. Bomb planted at the A bomb site. Four on two situation now. Make that a four on three as Super J Deagles Panther in the face. Uzi flanking around, able to take out Kaju. Two on two situation now. Bomb is still planted. Shift into Super J. 30 seconds left, Mob knows exactly where Uzi is, so he really has to make a move and can't get pinned in this location as m both Chimp with the scope and shift are in that A, probably in the A defensive building area. Spots him in the corner, gonna try and get some shots off. Not really working right now as Uzi just drops and says, heck with it, I'm gonna charge up. And that just did not work at all as Mob finally takes their first lead of the game. He needs one of us. Okay. Okay. Because this marker is ghosting. All right. All right. So, a little issue there with uh, with things going on. But as you can tell, digital excellence when they're not setting themselves, they are doing pretty good things to, to Mob's team. As my voice just continues to completely deteriorate as Panther is able to take down Uzi. Three on three situation. Super J with the scope moving around to the top of the B site. Shift with the bomb in on top of the market. Going to try and get things over near the B bomb site. Working behind the wooden house along with Panther and Shift. Narc in the mid market area. Crouched and just waiting for looks like for someone to pop out. Panther along with the rest of his team smoking that top of the top of the B 
road there as they will be getting this bomb down ever so shortly. Panther, though, spots Narc in the middle market there, unable to get those final shots off as Narc and Man Man answer back. Kaju is able to take down Super J. Man Man, though, along with Narc over at the B bomb site. The bomb is on the bomb site. 35 seconds left. Kaju can't stand on top of the car. Needs to get to some cover, but Narc able to take him down. Four all is your score now. Nice bounce back from Digital Excellence after their own team kill made. And we'll fall in behind Matt Chimpe Gomez once again with the death as Madman totally just destroys him with a set nade. That is not the way to get it done, folks. We're falling behind ship. This A push is not is already not turning out well as they do have the bomb, but are at a man disadvantage. They are on the bomb site. Gonna try and get this bomb down. Can they get this bomb? And this would be really big for them if they can. The bomb is down. They are hiding in the in their corners. Madman though able to take out Kaju. Things not looking good for them in the mad situation as Madman just going nuts on everyone right now. Bond working his way up the steps. Panther doing his best with a double kill. Bomb is still planned to remember that, folks, as Madman trying to get things done. Panther with another kill. Panther doing all the work and is able to take down Bond. Can Panther ace clutch it? Can he do it? All doing all the work, is able to get one and finally gets the other. Panther with the ace. Unbelievable. Call of Duty legend right there, folks. Panther getting it done. Unbelievable. And we will fall in behind Panther this round as he did all the work for Mob that round. Doing it big time on the big stage. That's what big players do. As he throws his nades across the mid. Going to work down behind the B side right now. Behind that B, that flash grenade does not hit him. See someone coming up there and Shifty is able to take him out fairly quickly. They're going to work that B bomb site quickly. See someone at the top. Jufox and Chimpe. Quick, quick shots though now as Digital Excellence is down. To a two-on-four situation, Narf knocked Narc taking down Jufox Panther though, finishing off Madman as Mob surrounds the entire B bomb site. Narc is able to take down Kaju on that B. I don't think they know where he is, but now they do as Chimpe finally takes him out. So Mob jumping out to a six-four lead right now as they have a nice commanding lead with some with some momentum. And if they can build this momentum on the offensive side, yes, please. Um, they should be in good shape. Thanks. So, uh, Bond gonna get the early, early nade kill into Chimpe. Multiple things going on at once. I apologize, folks. My partner in crime, Pele, had to go over and admin the match to make sure we don't have any ghosting going on as Shift takes down Bond. Four on four situation. Bomb is in the hands of Shift right now. Mob sitting kind of in the middle of the map. About a minute 15 left on the clock as Narc is sitting in the mid-market there, able to take down Jufox, gonna try and rotate back, and unable as a nade takes him out, shift with the bomb in the mid here near, near, the, near the wooden house, as it looks like Mob is really unsure what they wanna do, Digital Excellence moving around as well, gonna try and get things done here, as Panther is able to take down Madman very quickly, Digital Excellence down to two men as Shift takes the bomb. Looks like they're gonna work towards the A bomb site. Super J on the Panther. So things now a little bit more even. Two on two situation. Bomb is going down. Uzi though is able to take down Shift in a very bad position as Kaju with the bomb on the bomb. And that just will not work. Uzi on the high ground quickly able to take down Mob at the A bomb site. Pardon the uh, silence there, folks, uh, folks, as I take a drink of water to save what little of my voice I have left. <clears throat> as we'll fall in behind shift here, as it looks like Mob's going to go for a little bit stronger of a push with Narc on the Q5 early in this game. Narc doing a very nice job in that mid-market area. Chimpe getting lit up from Narc. Narc on top of the canopy there. That's a very excellent spot if you know how to use it. Going to go prone and get his regen up as Bond gets a double kill into Kaju. And Chimpe shift finally taking down Bond, but Madman answering back Super J into Panther. And just like that, we have a tied half, folks. So very, very close going into halftime with Digital Excellence and uh, Mob Gaming on this first map. A reminder, this first map is City Streets. Next map is Strike. And if we have a split, we will go 
to the most beloved vacant one more time. Specking the matches to make sure yeah. no one ghosts. Alright, we're gonna fall in behind Narc here. <coughs> As Digital Exelon gets their offense going, Narc gonna spam that, spam that wall there, wait for these set nades to come. As he makes his way through mid, Uzi with a nice and car grenade into Panther Chimpe. They're gonna get the retaliation kill on to Bond. So Narc trying to work that on top of that B site as he takes some fire, gonna get his regen on shift into Uzi, exploding barrel time, Narc able to get shift by the B bomb site. So another member of Mob is gonna rotate to the top of B, see if Narc can take him down, sees him up, up top there, gonna prone along the fence here, see what he can do. Jufox coming in from the side, gonna see if he can cut off Narc. Narc taking all sorts of fire, almost taken down as well as Chimp A. Chimp gonna rotate over towards mid, and Jufox able to take down Narc Chimp with the scope in mid, gonna try and peek through those windows, spot someone in the bottom of market, is able to take him down. Last member is Madman standing alive on top of the ledge there, next to the wooden building, one on three situation. He does have the bomb in hand, 74U as well, gonna try and creep around into the middle area, see if he can make anything happen. As the time ticks down, he has 30 seconds left on the clock. Not much he can do. Going to have to either fake the plant or just plant it for real. And I think he's just going to put the bomb down and hope for the best, as that is indeed what he is going to do. Going to get up, see if he can spot anyone. Not much going to happen here. In about three seconds, he will be destroyed from every angle or not. I mean, you know, I, I guess Mob just doesn't really want to uh, kill him. But Kaju will, I guess, eventually oblige as uh, Mob will take this first round. Explosives diffused. And just a reminder, in case any of you are wondering, we do play out overtimes here in the playoff bracket. That is just wonderful. It's only 4.20 a.m. in the morning. Chimpe getting the early kill in the Madman. Chimpe another kill in the Jufox. Matt Gomez, Chimpe doing it big time for his team. And you might have heard Matt go, woo, over there in the other room or not. And he spots another one, unable to get the kill. That is most unfortunate as Super J takes down Panther. Uzi into Shift, Shiftski and bondage to Chimpe. I think Chimpe killed his own teammate there. That is not how you get it done. But that is how you get it done for Digital Excellence as they bring this back to a 7-7 game all tied up here. And can you believe Narc doing it big time, 14-8 for his team ship, 15-9 for Mob, Jukebox 10-11, Panther 10-11 as well. So pretty even scores right there as Chimp tries to shoot through the smoke and that really just will not work unless you are super, super lucky. So he should get another stride here as soon as he comes around the mid and gets lit up by Chimpe with the Deagle. Bond gonna finish him off as well. Looks like Digital Exo is working a nice A push right now as they're gonna get the bomb down with Bond as uh, looks like Kaju in the gay corner is able to take down Bond and Nart. Absolutely wonderful play by Kaju in that gay corner, working it. Gonna see anyone coming down those stairs. Madman getting flanked from behind by Panther. Panther gonna kill him really quickly. Super J, last man standing, getting flanked by Panther and Kaju will Cut him down, pushing up the stairs. Excellent teamwork by Panther and Kaju to hold that A bomb site when they were outnumbered. Falling behind Chimpe here as Super J gets things started with the early sniper kill on to Jufox. So things not looking so good for Mob at the start. Looks like Digital Excellence working hard towards that B and mid area as Kaju is able to take down Bomb. Bomb is in the hand of Super J. Gonna see if he can spot anyone across the market area as a number of spam fires go along as Shift is able to take down Narc. Super J seeing if he can spot anyone. Kaju in that on those market stairs trying to find anyone next to uh, next to Wood as Shift is able to take down Uzi. Two on four situation now in favor of Mob as Shift does all sorts of good work over by the B bomb site. Excellent work by Shift. Multiple kills that round. 
excellent job. I think to four total as uh, he pads his kills to death ratio 19 to 9 at the current moment, doing all the work for Mob Gaming. So we'll fall in behind Uzi now as Bond gets the quick kill into Jufox. Jufox just continues to die at will. Bond taking down shift things, not looking good for Mob as uh, Digital Excellence continues their quick aggressive push across the map. Uzi trying to make things happen. Panther s uh, senses the, uh, the spawn spam kill there, is able to take down Uzi, Nart into Kaju. Panther trying to do all the work as he is in a 104 situation, not going to get it done as Bond single handedly took that round into his own hands with four frags of his own. will fall in not behind Bond as he is blown out by a nade from Panther. Falling behind Madman. His, his digital excellence seems to be doing a very fast B push now. Chimpe and Madman each getting kills of their own. That's not really going to work as Panther unleashing all sorts of rav havoc into digital excellence. Uzi last man standing and is, is taken down by Chip. So Mob almost there. Three more rounds to go to win this two to tie, two to force the tie. And you, you can almost see the finish line here for Mob. Gonna buckle down and try and get this done. You can see the scores right there. Big time coming in from Shift and Panther carrying their teams on their back. Panther gonna get things done. Chimpe with the early nade kill into Uzi. Panther pushing up, he sees a whole bunch of people, kills one, unable to get the second. Bond gonna answer back. Bond with the grenade, with, with the bomb in hand, gonna try and get this bomb planted, but a lot of mob is already over there. Gonna get the fake down. Kaju, is, is he in that gate corner? No, he is not, but all of Mob has rotated over. Kaju is able to take down Super J. I don't think they know if Bond is pushing up. Chimpe into Man Man. Bond has pushed up and, it, and has taken down Kaju, but to no avail as Shift quickly takes him down. All right. And joining me back on the mic is Pele. What's up, brother? I'm going to give you some vocal relief as you have covered quite a bit of rounds by yourself. All right, I have a uh, night. Just doing the admin over there, so we're all set. And as we have, uh, that's why not? He's already here. Chimpe is taking uh, a nice nade and gets another kill along with it, taking down two guys early on. As we have uh, Madman uh, is taken down by Panther. So really, there's really a hardship going on. It's two on four in favor of Mob Deep. And it's now one with the last one left being Super J getting a scope shot. Right before anything happens, there's now a one-on-three situation. Super J going with a D, gets the shifty, but you know what? Jufox were right around the corner, and uh, that closed the round. Yeah, that closed the round. Mob almost there, as we said. One more round to go to win this and to take us to... Just cannot get the right tabs working today, folks. This is the second map. The second <laughs> map of strike. So Chimpe with the scope, gonna see if he can get, and he gets a kill, man. Oh my this God. chimp guy, just turn off the wall hacks, please, brother. When he gets mad, he goes crazy. Yeah, turn those <laughs> wall hacks off, please, as he will now peek to see if he can find anyone. When he gets in a groove, he can groove with the best of them. Panther getting some kills. Narc car bomb into shift. Uzi also into Jufox. So it looks like Digital Excellence last ditch effort, working that B bomb site hard. Kaju, though, able to take down Uzi. Madman proning behind the car, seeing if he can get that bomb down. He is able to get the bomb down. Panther, though, quickly taking out Narc. Madman oh. just stuck in the car as Chimpe deagles him. And that will be the round 13 to 8 in favor of Mob. They're up on this first map. And this was their map choice. So Strike is now Digital Excellence's map choice. And uh, they, they, need to, they need to win this one to stay alive. Uh, they did this map um, actually uh, last round when they won against uh, VVV, and it was pretty tight. Um, they, uh, from my understanding, they did pretty well on offense and uh, had to catch up a little bit and uh, took it right around D. So uh, it's going to be interesting as we have to ready up um, ready. for this team. I, th I think there might be. Okay, there is not going to be a smoke break. <laughs> and that is a good thing. Definitely. Absolutely. As we want to just uh, try and uh, stifle right through all this as it is uh, 4.30 in the morning. So we're waiting on uh, two more guys, one from each team. We have uh, Madman and Goju. 
waiting for the ready up, and then we go into knife round, where it seems like Digital X is the masters in this particular uh, field of expertise. They have not lost a knife round all, all nerve land. So let's see who the ninja is today. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's just too late and early in the morning. This knife yeah, rounds are always nice. very, very fun. Mad Men with one, not Uzi exactly. with one. <laughs> super J, Super J. What? And yeah, Uzi wins. Nice. Digital excellence just cannot lose a knife round. Yeah, the rest of us. <laughs> Azure War Online. Wow, these forms are quite interesting. Absolutely. All right. As we get things started <laughs> here, you know those TZ forms. They're they're pretty interesting forms, I gotta say. As we'll fall in behind Bond, throwing some nades over. Car bomb explodes, working that mid site. Looks like Digital Excellence is going to try and get into that A Ooh, site as Shift is able to take down Uzi and Narc in the A bomb site. Bond trying to finish them off, unable to do so as Shift will get his regen on right now. Mm -hmm. Bomb is stuck in front of Statue in the A bomb site. Bond kind of just sitting there, Chimpe with the sniper on top of the <coughs> Logan Newell ledge right there, as we like to call it. Jufox in the back, backing him up with the Deagle, Shift also in the A bomb site. Panther taking some fire over in the flank area. Seeing if he can get something done right now as he rotates now towards the middle spots. Oh, I'm not sure if he saw that person in the uh, bottom A crossing the map and that would be Super J just sitting in the middle of the uh, map there. That's not a very good place to be as it looks like Digital Excellence will work their way over towards that A bomb site. Panther able to take down Bond Super J quickly cleaning up as the bomb is in front. 25 seconds roughly left on the clock. Not much you can do as Super J is just double teamed from three different directions. One man left and that man stands no more as Shift is quickly able to take him down. So that's the first round. The first round went to Mop. All right, now as he's pointing to the map. Okay, um, so let's follow Chimp. Why not? Sounds like a, a beautiful thing to stress about. As he throws a smoke to cover across the, <laughs> the B site and see what he can do to push alongside. He's gonna need it. He's gonna see. And he loves this spot. He really does. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it's because they always think he's gonna go all the way around to uh, mid uh, cut. But no, uh, Chimp's gonna go around and see if he get a kill as he has seen one person cross but is not able to get a clean shot. Um, there is three people already down for the uh, mob team, all, all of which, four down, all of which are coming from the A site, and that was a quick round as uh, it was easy pickings for DX. Digital Excellence with a nice A push that round, just kind of catching mob off guard. We'll fall in behind Digital X Madman. Sniper rifle, pardon me, in hand. Gonna see if he can get something going. Gonna jump up, not getting the shot off. Gonna throw a set made though. Pardon me, hopefully gonna get things done. Shift, almost dead, gonna get his regen on. Pardon me, as I just can't seem to uh, get myself together here. Uzi gonna take down Jufox with the 74U, most likely in the A bomb site as well. Kaju, so things looking good for Digital Excellence as Shift comes up big one-on-two situation now. All It's all left to Panther. One-on-one -on -one situation. Last member is over by the cafe. Almost kills himself walking right out there. Gonna see if he can get things done. Knows that that uh, he may be switching around. He knows exactly where he is. Spots him in the open. Tags him a little bit with the 
with the 74U, doesn't want to overextend himself. Gonna try and make this work, and gets the corner wrong. That was very unexpected. Panther not doing a really good job coming around there, and my voice is just dying here. Yeah, let's take a break. Let's, relax, man. You're good. Cho. All right, let's follow Narc. Um, and yeah, he's gonna try and push into A. It seems uh, they're gonna do a nice little split and uh, have some early control as Narc tries to get in there, gets tagged, but he is still pushing through. Even if he gets flash, he is pushing. And uh, Narc's going straight in. And uh, let's see, and wow, Shifty takes down Uzi with the AK-74 U. And uh, Narc's still pushing in, and he's directly on the bomb, along with a the teammate. They might get this bomb early on, directly in. All right, you see a Panther, see if they can find anyone else, as even though they're inside the A-bomb, we still have the full team mob. I'm just kidding, as they just get knocked out. Both uh, Panther is down, and now is Jew Fox and Chimpe left against Madman and Narc, as uh, Chimpe, what? Yeah, just Deagle's narc. There you go. Now, uh, he finds the bombs, trying to uh, protect it as much as he can as Jufox is trying to defuse. Let's see. Jufox going in, going in. It is an AK-74U uh, versus an AK-74U. So it's massive spamming. All he has to do is make sure he doesn't defuse, which is a pretty daunting task, and it should be pretty easy as long as he just doesn't die. All he has to do is stay alive. And now he dies. Oh, my God, with the Deagle. Jew Fox uh, should be able to get this defuse, but no, he could, no, runs away. So I guess it was a little off in the calculation, and there he goes. They win that round. That is for DX. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit too late there. I think if he would have just held that defuse earlier, he might have gotten it. Because, uh, yeah, he might have gotten that. So he'll fall in behind Madman right now with the scope. Let's see if he can get some things done as he is bumped repeatedly by a teammate. Uzi with the nade into Panther. Super J into Kaju. Madman missing the open man in the middle there. Gonna throw a set nade, see if he can get something done. So Mob not looking good right now as Shift trying to get his team back on the board along with Ju Fox. Bond though answering right back into Shift. So Bond working quickly as the bomb is down in front of the A site in between the gate there. Gonna pick that up and dart across next to the green car. Gonna see if he can spot anyone over by the cafe or someone flanking from behind. Gonna sit there and wait. Chimpe with the sniper rifle. Um, I, I can't really explain why he's there with what he, the weapon he has, but this is Matt Chimpe Gomez. This is how he plays video games. So Bond is gonna oh, take out Jufox. Man. And, Come on, uh, no scope. Do it. And Chimpe, Do it. Ah. Chimpe is really struggling. Chimpe. Wow. Chimpe, uh, He's kicking Matt himself Chimpe right Gomez. now. He's in rage, I'm sure of it. And Matt Chimpe Gomez just uh, not, not a very accurate uh, with the scope uh, <laughs> gun there. So we recommend using a different weapon as he takes fire from all sides. And if I were Gomez, I would just get on the bomb. I would smoke myself and defuse. That's what I would do. And you might just get close to your wishes. No, he gets taken out as soon as he presses that button. DX is really just uh, like, you know what? You took me last round. I'm not letting you take any of this. But um, let's see how this continues to pan out. Because uh, once again, these uh, turns can, these turns, these turns can turn. <laughs> these tides can turn very quickly. As uh, we have Narc, who once again likes to push in and takes down Jew Fox as he rushes right into A site. He's going for a second. Can he get a second kill right around the corner? And he's looking to the wrong direction, but when they get it, he's right there, right in front of him as he goes around the corner. And one, two, three, boom, Chimp's dead. All right, Bond takes down Shifty, so really it's the last one left is Panther, which is the guy who went on flank. And uh, he's going for the kill, but he is no match for a Deagle versus an AK-74U. And it's now 5-1 in favor of DX. Nice round there by DX. DX is really piling on right now with their very fast offense. Offensive push into that A bomb site so will fall in behind Narc. As he is the 74U in hand, going to toss a nade over. Work slowly over to underneath Kyle's gonna let these nades go out in front of the middle as well as the smoke, but he went a little bit too soon as G Fox's nade does catch him there. Chimp still on that ledge right now as G Fox works his way into the bomb site. Panther though into Uzi. So things looking a little bit better for Mob as Kaju is able to take down Bond. 
So Mob with a five on two advantage right now. Shift working his way outside the bomb site. Not sure if that's a good idea as the remaining members of DX are sitting back. Super J does get the kill into Panther. Panther not really known for his patience. So Kaju in the mid area. Super J on the ledge here. Gonna try and work towards the cafe un and underneath tires. Super J with the 47 spots someone in the mid markets. Unable to finish the job. Chimpe though, gonna take down Madman. And uh, that'll leave Super J all by his lonesome with the bomb in hand over, over in the cafe area, trying to get into the bomb site, but to no avail as Shift is finally able to take him out. All right. That's cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to follow the team that needs to get some rounds. So let's go with Fox as he uh, likes to get taken out very shortly inside of the A site. He is now going to go for a nice nade right in and hold his ground. I think he's a of smoke and a nade. I am totally crazy about that as he gets, picks up an AK-74U and pushes directly into the site. Let's see if he can hold his ground though as he has a whole bunch of enemies coming right through Cafe. As one comes through, he spots him. He is he able to get a good vantage point? And yes, he does, but is he able to kill him? That is the other question, and yes, he does. So we have Narc down as well as uh, another guy who is having fun right now, Super J, against uh, Jufox. Uh, Super J is inside Cafe and uh, gets flanked right from the side by Panther. So it is now a 2 2 with Madman and Bond versus Panther and Jufox. Uh, both uh, of Mob is towards the A bomb site while uh, so is DX. So, because the bomb is directly inside of Cafe, it's going to be very interesting for them to try and uh, come around and get it as boom, Madman is down. There's only one guy left, and he has not much time as he has to push in. But we'll, no, yep, Q Fox gets a nice crossfire. He gets protected and uh, takes down Bond. Nice work there by Mob, picking up two rounds. He's got to bounce back. We're going to fall in behind Matt Chimpe Gomez. Chimpe. See if he can get anything done. Sound effects included here at Evap TV. Yes, so it, if Chimpe was here, he'd be like, because he likes to do that. It's uh, quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we'll just leave that with that, with Uzi getting an early grenade kill in the shift. <laughs> Panther, though, taking down Bond. Going to get some regen on Chimpe, smoking and shooting through smoke like a champion of champions. Panther going to take down Uzi as well. Things looking good for Mob. Four on two situation now as they have secured that A bomb site fairly easily with Panther in mid. Though Mob, Madman, pardon me, Digital Excellence, Madman able to gonna take down Panther. So Madman going to try and do some work now over towards those palm trees. He's going to spot Chimpe, but just misses head. Chimpe oh, literally man. jumps the right way and is able to take down Madman. I'm sure... Uh, that made Chimpe very happy inside as Jufox is able to take down Super J. So Mob coming right back in this one, only down one round right now. As I said, the, t the tides will tides. Just kidding. <laughs> the tides will turn, very simply. As we go around, it is 5-4 in favor of the Jufox. Excellent. So we have uh, Chimpe trying to shoot through smoke and uh, throws a nade successfully, not hitting the awning. As he goes around, Jukebox goes into A site like he likes to do and goes right behind that bomb to get a very good vantage point and getting the kills as they rush in. But now he's going for the awesome spot right behind Water Fountain or even greater as he misses and fails on that one. Chifty's getting a nice kill into Bond as he's getting fire right, right through mid. Um, we have Uzi going right through... Uh, Butcher, and uh, we have uh, Panther taking down Super J. So right now, DX has two players against four, and uh, they're sp split up. No, they're uh, actually on the opposite side of the bomb, so it's not going to be easy for them to try and go all the way around with, uh, I'd say, what is this, 45 seconds left. So they have to get a, quite a few picks as they take down one, which is very nice, right in the head against uh, Koju. We have uh, Jew Fox is the next one on the list, I'm sure. I see he's right next. It's Uzi takes down Panther. And then uh, we have Madman taking down Shifty. So they are doing a nice cleanup, but they still only have 26 seconds left. Jew Fox takes them both down as if they were walking in a straight line. That is a very nice line of fire. Yeah, very nice by Jew Fox. Not panicking, not extending himself, just playing patiently, realizing that he has the time on his side. 
and that um, Madman had to move out and get that bomb planted. So we'll fall in behind Narc here as the nades go out. And reminder, this is five all score right now. First map of this best of three. Panther with the grenade kill into Narc. Jukebox into Bond. Uzi getting the counter kill into Panther. But you can just feel the momentum coming here for Mob as they continue to pile round after round. Chimp looking over towards the flower house, seeing if he can spot anyone. Jufox in the back of the A bomb site. Shift also in the A bomb site. Uzi doing some fancy prone work right now in the middle. Gonna see if he can spot someone with the Deagle, the weapon of choice here. The shiny Deagle gonna pick up that 74U. Gonna wait over by the garage area. Looks like Digital Excellence is really unsure of whether they want to push into that A bomb site as Madman throws a smoke out. Gonna look up at the uh, cafe area. Gonna put that smoke down and eventually work his way into that A bomb site. Along with his teammate, a shift spots him on both of them on the top of the uh, cafe, but a nice crossfire with Jufox uh, and shift and Jufox are able to take down the rest of Digital Excellence pushing into this site. So Mob picking up another round, um, just unbelievable work here. Absolutely, the momentum has changed. They won five rounds in a row, which is uh, something that actually uh, they were doing just before uh, in Digital Excellence side. Uh, if you, want, you might want to take that chair over there. It might be a little bit more comfortable. All right, so uh, what we have right now is uh, Jew Fox taking down Bond, uh, Bond with a nade, making it in favor of uh, Mob as uh, Mad Men just goes right back into Jufox that, that take care of that situation. As uh, Chimpe is trying to get a nice shot into uh, somebody, but that was not able to happen. But he's going to throw a nade anyway and try and get him so he doesn't uh, plant that bomb. And boom, yes he does, he takes him out. So now there's only one person left for Digital Excellence, which is Narc. And Narc against Keju, Panther, and Chimp. So he's not going to have a fun time as he takes down the one Chimp with the Deagle. Um, there's still two more to go. I see he's uh, almost empty on that clip, but he's able to finish it out and kill Panther. There's only one, 1v1 one with Kaju knowing exactly where he is, but he, uh, he's not actually pushing up on him. So he has to get the bomb, plant it, which is directly on the site. So he's going to try and uh, use that to his advantage. As uh, Kaju is actually doing something he definitely should not be doing, which is pushing out against his team as he's just hiding right there and he just went right past him. Perfect planning. If he's able to just run and get the bomb and get that planted as there's not much time left. There's only 18 seconds but he didn't realize that he uh, actually went all the way around. So if he's able to get this plant down, which he will, we have Keju right there. Ran the bomb, went all the way around. So boom, right in the headshot and uh, somehow that actually worked out for him. Yeah, not exactly sure how that happened. Um, I'm sure if they saw that replay, they're going to be very pissed. Yes, indeed. All right, so that uh, that's the win on this half for Mob. Yes, indeed, <laughs> as Mob... <laughs> Mob will go on the offensive. See if I can get... Yes, I got the tabs right now. Jufox doing most of the work, 14-5. Nice, very impressive KDR. Chimp getting some smokes down, not going to work as Panther. Ooh, Ooh the headshot. Nice. Uzi and Chimpe trading kills right now. 4 on 4 situation with Chimpe doing a lot of work. Jufox trying to get a set grenade lined up. There's no nades going. Can't use them. It does tag someone over by the palm trees. Unable to finish the kill off, however, as that wood looks to be Super J. Smoke going down in the middle of the street as it looks like Jufox will be working his way over towards oh, the middle as Mob is slowly but surely crouch creeping their way across the map. That is the way professional gamers work. Crouching and creeping slowly but surely. What kind of animal does that represent? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> as there's 45 seconds left on the clock, still a four and four situation. Mob looks like right now gonna try and want to put push into that into that A bomb site, but Super J able to take down Chimp and Narc into Jew Fox. Kaju though answering back into Madman, Super J into Kaju though. So this push not really very well coordinated by Mob and this round will surely go to Digital Excellence unless Shift can kill three people in 20 seconds and that is just not gonna happen. Well, at least it's uh, finally a momentum changer as uh, they finally beat their 
uh, six round rush that they were doing. Um, mob. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and follow Uzi. Even though they don't even uh, use Uzis, but that's okay. You know, AK-74 uh, you will work perfectly fine if you try to push him right off side to avoid all the nades, but uh, gets tagged by one. There's a, uh, wow, there's gonna be a nice rush into A quite shortly as Uzi is looking with his deagle going his special spot. So uh, with that spot, it's uh, quite interesting because usually people go right past, but uh, what we have is also a crossfire with, I believe that's gonna be not, and Narc takes down one against G Fox. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go see what Panther's doing. As he's gonna come across the one very shortly, is he gonna go push right in, and will he be able to take out Narc who is right around the corner? That is the question, as he is quite exposed right now. And uh, he's getting heavy fire, but no, Narc takes him straight out. It is now uh, Shifty being the last one left for Mob. This might be back to uh, uh, a tie game, 7-7. Seven, seven. So uh, let's see what Shifty's going on here. He is going creeping around the corner, as they creepily do. And uh, takes down Bond. So Bond is down. There's now two guys left. Oh, sorry, three guys left. Now, yep, Madman is getting tagged, but he did not go down as he is bottom uh, behind. And uh, Madman takes his deeg and just pops him. Nice job there by Digital Excellence holding that A-bomb site. Like Narc in particular with Uzi hiding behind the wall. Very nice setup there. As we'll fall in behind uh, Chimpe with the bomb. Let's see if he can get anything done. As it looks like the rest of Mob has moved over towards the B-bomb site. Like Kaju uh, going to get that early frag kill in. Mob working that deep bombs like very fairly quickly. Spots the one, throws some f uh, fire over there. Not gonna get it done. As it looks like Digital Excellence realizes where Mob is going. Kaju gonna work very quickly into that bomb site as following his teammate. And they're gonna run up as Shift is able to take down Super J. Gonna get in here, pick up one gun. Bond killing Shift though. So they still have one person left in this site as Bond is able to take down Panther. Kaju doing all the work by him, trying to do all the work by himself, but Uzi taking down Jufox. So this push by Mob really stalled here by by Bond himself, and Chimpe gonna take down Uzi. Nark is it gonna finish off Chimpe? Bond doing very good work there in the back of the Ooh. site, and finally is taken down by Kaju. Last man standing oh, is Nark man. on top of the the B house, and he is finally taken down by Kaju. Kaju single-handedly putting the team on his back that round. Yeah, he was like back from the dead. He got shot like crazy right in the wall and came right back and just took the rest of the team out. As uh, we now are going to follow uh, Shifty, why not? Shifty uh, going around with an AK already getting tagged already. And uh, he dropped the bomb, carried it, and gave it to his teammate. He's going to go top A, which is going to be a pretty good vantage point. Uh, Chimpe is taking down Ark. With the scope, Panther taking down Madman, so uh, they're really doing some work against this uh, Digital Excellence team. Bond's taking down Panther, trying to get a little bit back as uh, the Mob team just finishes back off. You get really good momentum now for Mob. They can just ride this to the finish. You'll know, have at least four more rounds to win it, three more rounds to tie it. As we'll fall in behind Panther right now, Silver Deagle in hand, gonna hop up that ledge right there. Maybe throw some set grenades. Yes, it is very late when we commentate people hopping up ledges. Shift with the early grenade kill into Super J. Panther pushing through the cafe, trying to see if he spots someone as Ju Fox and Chimpe getting some early kills. That was very odd as Madman takes down Panther with the sniper rifle right in front of Uzi. Chimpe kind of sitting there. One member left, Uzi over there by the cafe. And he does take down Chimpe, so this is not the way you want to do it. Remember, folks, do not go into the bomb site one at a time. That just does not get the job done as Uzi is able to take down Shift, and that just is not the way you get it done. Jufox, though, going to get Madman. One on one situation now. Roughly a minute left on the clock. The bomb is in front of the cafe side, and Jufox spots Uzi. It does get a number of shots on him, but unable to really finish the job, as now Uzi has this spotting advantage. Trying to get things done, unable to though. This is just back and forth as uh, these two players try and pick each other off and work their regens appropriately. As you can see them trying to spam through the wall here, trying to get any advantage they can.
<laughs> this is this is most this is a cat and mouse game, folks. Ten seconds left. I didn't. Unbelievable, Jufox. Unbelievable control right there. Jufox, very nicely done, clutching that round for his team. Yeah, so people that are losing momentum is actually us. So, uh, yeah, let's see how we can pull this out of our ass. All right, uh, as we have Narc, he's <laughs> pushing up <laughs> into A side, throwing a nade and throwing a smoke. See if he's dead. <laughs> Does this bomb. This is going to go directly to the. Uh... Wow, he, he screwed up. Very, he screwed up. I'm not gonna lie. He, screwed, oh, he goes again, but he makes it this time and gets a kill on Kaiser. That made up definitely for his uh, terrible <laughs> time missing. <laughs> All right, we have Panther uh, going around the corner, but he has a bit of a surprise if he continues to go out with uh, Narc being right there. We have uh, Mad Men going around trying to get a nice pick, but he's not seeing anyone as no one's over there by the B side. As Panther is going across, he might meet up right into Narc very shortly is uh, Narc likes to do his little uh, hide-and-go-seek over there. Uh, we got Mad Men trying to pick in the mid, but he is not finding anyone. But uh, we have Bond going around by B uh, Palms. All right, so we have G Fox uh, trying to push in, but um, Narc takes on Panther, so it's really not going to help for the uh, mob cause here, as uh, G Fox just uh, basically risen from the dead is almost died and came right back to life as uh, we have Madman going for another shot. Will he find somebody in the street? And yes, he does. Shifty is down. Goes for a second shot. Just misses. See if he can go for a third. But no, he gets taken down by Jew Fox because he uh, triple peaked. All right, we have Bond going across and takes out Jew Fox. So that was their momentum right there. They were going pretty strong, but uh, let's see how this progresses. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, hit the right tab button. Jew Fox, 19 and 9, doing all the work. Back's heavy, back sore. It's hard to carry the team. So we'll fall in behind Jufox as he throws some nades there. We're gonna see if someone's gonna come in quickly. Narc getting an early grenade kill along with Uzi, so things looking good for Digital Excellence. Mob gonna do a whole lot of, gonna have to do a whole lot of work to come back on this one as it looks like they will play the defensive side as Shift is able to take down Bond. So almost even now, three on four situation, still in favor of Digital Excellence as Shift rotates back over towards the A side, right near Tire, gonna see if he can spot someone peeking out a little bit too aggressively. Digital Excellence though, set up in pretty fairly decent positions in the A site, playing very passively. They know that they pretty much have this round in hand and force Mob to push, as Panther also has the bomb, gonna work his way through the middle, see if he can spot anyone, and he will eventually find Madman with the sniper rifle. And uh, this will end very badly for someone. Someone indeed. <laughs> indeed. As Panther is able to take down Madman Shift, also rotating over. Spots one behind the bomb site, behind the, that B but building. Explosives as Panther planted. is able to get that bomb down. So a two on three situation now in favor of Digital Excellence. But Mob has the bomb down. And this surely will give them somewhat, uh, somewhat solace as with the bomb down they can just sit back and defend as the as smoke ha and multiple smokes has gone down. Wow. This is not good. Jufox though through the smoke gonna get a kill. That will help. That's one kill. As it looks like Super J is gonna see if he can get something done as well. As it looks like Super J is gonna see if he can find Jufox. Panther oh. though providing cover. Excellent setup there by Panther and Jufox. Jufox there killing Narc. Excellent, excellent setup. Panther and Jufox one up top, one below, one for the one for the bomb, one for. Uh, to cover his teammate. Very good setup there by Mob Gaming. Yeah, what well, he said. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, folks. We're, we're going to follow Madman as he's going to try and scope his <laughs> uh, right down mid. He's going to see if he go right through smoke. He got ambient inclusion. Uh, no, because we we're actually at a land event. So that's not going to happen here. As we have Koji going around trying to get a clear shot, he's not finding anyone taking on his deagle. As Chip A is getting tagged up like crazy. Let's see what's going on over here. As we have uh, uh, most likely Narc, who's going to be uh, watching the crossover to Cafe. 
Um, Chimpe is trying to find a nice clean pick, but he's going very slow and see if he's able to do it. And yes, he does. Takes down Madman. So now Chimpe at least has an early advantage, but Kedru gets taken out by Nark as he tries to push in. And uh, Nark takes down another. Mob is just getting cleaned up over here by Nark. Um, there is now uh, a three on four. And you have Shifty trying to get a nice kill over there. He sees one by B Palms. But he's not able to get anything successful. But Chimpe knows where Narc is and just picks him right in the freaking face. All right, so we have uh, three on three. And Bond is going against, uh, I would say, Shifty. So Chimpe is going for the next shot. But Uzi takes it. And then there we go. Chimpe gets the kill and going for the bomb as there's 20 seconds left. But there is no need as his team. Cleans up the round. It is 12-8, and it is one more to going on to the finals. Yes, indeed. And if if Mob wins this one, they will win both matches 13-8, similarly to how Digital Excellence won both of their matches uh, by the same score. That score was 13-11 over BBB. So Bond getting things started the right way with a sec grenade into Panther. Chimpe spots someone. That would be Narc inside the A. Bomb site going to get that headshot off or what should have been a headshot off, although we play a game called, called Call of Duty 4, so headshots don't always work as headshots. Sometimes you can shoot them on their shoulder and it counts as a headshot. So Jukebox now, as I <laughs> go on a little bit of rage here, as Madman is able to take down Ship and Uzi as well, getting into the kill parade. Kaju, though, finally killing Uzi. So two on f three situation now. Mob down, down a player, but still has a minute left on the clock. They're going to try and make it happen. And what better way to make it happen than with a deagle? Jufox, <laughs> the man who does most of the work, still alive. 23 and 9, current, current ratio, kills to death ratio. Going to try and pad that for the screenshot to be found on the TZ later today or this morning. Um, so he's going to sneak his way through the mid trying to make something happen. And with only 25 seconds left on the clock, they're going to have to push into this bomb site. And uh, Jufox trying to do his best to bait and bait and bait as uh, uh, they, yeah. they have to realize that they only have 14 seconds left. Yeah. When you're in that bit of a time frame and you're really trying to get the bomb down, it's, it's very hard to try and... Uh, Try and rush in there. All right, so uh, yeah, how do you like um, you know doing AK if you get two shots in the head to kill him? That's pretty mean. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go Jufox and he's gonna kill an aid. We're just gonna kill Panther with an aid because uh, he's just so cool. Like that chip may taking out Narc, who's a very key player usually in A. Uh, we have Shifty uh, coming around trying to find a nice pick, but he is getting shot. So he's like, screw this, and we go for another target. And he goes for another, but uh, cannot get a nice clean shot on it. He might get scoped out as Madman is trying to look for him. Uh, we have Keju going around in A, trying to find a, a nice clean kill, but he is a very close to being a rude awakening as there's a guy right inside Cafe. And let's go to him as he's going to be in a crazy amount of work right now. As There he goes. Uzi takes down one. And Willie takes the other. He's right around the corner. And uh, no, he's getting tagged up like crazy. But Super J takes down uh, Keju. So Madman taking down Shifty. So this is uh, going to go. Here we go to Digital Excellence, it seems. As we have uh, one guy left for Mavdi. And he has the bomb, but he has to slow push because uh, he only has... 30 seconds left on the clock, takes down the key player, Uzi, but there's still three men left, including a scope. So, Madman trying to find uh, the guy, and he comes up mid street. He's going to have uh, quite a few problems. As we have uh, Jufox going through mid street. So, let's see him get picked as he got tagged. He did not die, but there we go. Super J over the wall. Boom, boom, dead. Mob just trying to get that one last round to get themselves. Over the hump as we'll fall in behind Bond. This round. This round. At least this round while he's alive. <laughs> as uh, so far not very interesting. There are a bunch of smokes going off everywhere. We will switch to the offense. Chimpe unable to pick anyone going inside that bomb site. Going to sit there, wait some more. I don't think as there has anyone even gone into the bomb site. Not exactly <laughs> sure. Panther, though, going to get the retaliation for those previous two rounds, going to kill Bond. So things starting off fairly decently for Mob. 
getting that early kill. Now they need to capitalize and work into that A bomb site as, uh, di as Digital Excellence seems to just kind of want to sit out by the palm trees area. Jufox and the rest of Mob working their way slowly down the middle of the street, not really realizing that Digital Excellence is really nowhere near inside the bomb site. They, they are expecting Digital Excellence inside the site and they're nowhere near it. They're just kind of playing outside the site, waiting for Mob to push in, and that's really a difficult way to play this map on defense, as it looks like Jufox will attempt a flank around as Madman is able to take down, down Chimpe. So Jufox and the rest of Mob Gaming will hopefully, at some point, decide to, decide to try and get a plan off, as there's only roughly 25 seconds left in the round. Multiple members of Mob and Digital Excellence left Panther. They were able to get a kill. Madman and Uzi getting kills of their own. Two on three situation. And Mob just not really in a very good position right now, as Uzi is able to take down Shift. Then the time it just really working against Mob. Not exactly sure what they're doing. Very, very, very painful here, as they had the man advantage and just did not pull the trigger on that. Wow, you want something close, here you go. There's actions on uh, both the last round and now this round. As we have uh, Shatan going to a close, this is the round of champions, as we would normally say with Chimpe playing this game. All right, so let's just follow uh, Kaju, as Kaju's going to be uh, trying to push in with the AK-74U very shortly. As they surround, they are going for no mercy. They saw that they were put way behind and uh, not pushing, but now they are. And uh, Koju going around the corner will be able to take a kill as Panther's already dead on the mob side and uh, Narc is down on the other. Koju's taking heavy fire as they already have one on side the uh, A bomb site, which is most likely their funny friend uh, uh, Uzi. So Uzi has an AK-74 for you, and uh, he's trying to get suppressive fire, but he is not having any help right now inside the A bomb site. It's these three guys on him. They have the bomb. And they're going to try and push in on him as uh, Uzi was taken out. So this is going to be very interesting as the, this is now a three-on-three -three situation with the scope taking down Shifty. As uh, Keju is trying to get the plant down, looking for a nade. And uh, he successfully plants it. But it is, uh, looks like Mob might just take this round as there's only two guys left. Bond and Super J versus Kaju, Jufox, as well as Chimpe. Uh, Chimpe still has the scope, trying to find a peak, but they got the uh, smoke down, so it's going to be a little harder for him to find a clear shot. As we have Jufox going around, trying to see if he can uh, weasel his way right into the front door to try and uh, cut him off. And does he do it? Yes, he does. Takes a one down. There's only uh, two on one left, and he's just spamming away, but is now one on one with 14 seconds. So if he's able to just hold down, not die, he can uh, determine enough that he cannot defuse, and there it is. He wins. There he goes. It is 13-11. Very nice match there. I don't know. Do it until we get annoyed. No, we're casting it <laughs> and admitting it.